All right, fall is in the air in Arizona. I want to get a little gold panning in before the summer's over. So I'm going to be heading up north and uh, doing a little gold panning on Lynx Creek. Let's hit it. Just made it to the Lynx Creek Gold Pan Recreation Area. Very easy to find on Google Maps. It's really windy outside, so I thought I would uh, do this in here so we don't have all the wind noise in the microphone. So I'm just going to unpack the gear and head down to the creek, kind of find a good place. I think there might be some gold. I'm no expert, but, you know, I've done it a little bit here and there. And uh, see if we can find some pickers, maybe some flakes. Let's do it. Yeah, so the creek runs dry this time of year, but I did manage to find some water. So I think I'm gonna set up here and do a test pan or two. It looks like people have been digging here already. And uh, it's kind of a nice little bend. So we'll see what happens. All right, so as you can see, people have been digging here. This actually looks like a fairly decent little spot. So I'm gonna give that a try. I'm gonna dig a little further and uh, get some water to pan with right here. Other than that, the majority of the creek upstream is pretty dry right now. So I'm glad we found this spot. Well, first pan's a bust. I got some black sand, which is promising, but uh, that's about it. All right, so pan number one was a bust. There's a lot of digging activity over here. Uh, digging by tree roots is helpful if the tree's in the right place. I see some people have kind of dug down here, so I might give that a try as well. Yeah, I'm kind of limited with the panning because it's really shallow. So you can't use the same technique. You kind of have to, yeah, it takes more time. So I might pull up a sample or two from here and see how we do there. But the other one had black sand, one tiny, tiny, tiny potential sapphire, just tiny and uh, some little metallic specks. And that was about it. That's the name of the game. You can't just expect to come out here and pan and, strike it rich your first time i mean honestly you're probably not going to strike it rich panning it's just kind of something fun to do on a weekend be out in nature hang out and i mean look at this fall weather leaves beauty all right so i'm probably going to pull up a sample from maybe right around here actually i'm going to pull up a sample from here where all this smaller stuff is kind of conglomerating i don't see any bedrock but i'll give that a try there and see how that does nice because this boulder can definitely make the uh, gold drop out right here. So I'm going to try and get in right here, see what I can find. I'm doing it one-handed while I'm holding the GoPro. <laughs> classifier here get out all the big stuff be nice if I found one that big huh <laughs> all right standard issue gravel all right well I was right to look in that gravel Yes, there's a tiny little speck right there. Definitely thought there'd be more, but uh, hey, it's better than nothing. I'm on the right track. I think I'll uh, keep panning the area there.
getting it down a little bit here. I'm panning with the ridges so I can go a little quicker. All right, well, pan number two or three, I can't remember, I think it's three, is a bust. All right, I'm gonna go under this, uh, dig a little bit by this tree root right here. You can't dig above high water line. This is right about where high water line is, so we'll be okay to dig here, and uh, yeah, see what happens. All right, let's get to it. There's some color right there. Pretty hard to see. But ah, just a decent little piece. Not bad. All right, well, look at that. Another little one. Haven't searched all the black sand. There's a lot of black sand here but I hit on another piece. So this is actually a good little pan. All right, get the final tans off, get the good stuff. Two little specks, maybe three. All right, so I'm gonna go dig again over there. Well, I think the spot that I first worked, which is right over there by a stone that had some smaller stuff next to it, and I could see the water would kind of catch when it rounds the bend. That is the spot. Uh, the gold isn't great today, but this pan right here, if you can see that, that's the best pan of the day because I haven't even really started extracting it, and there's a decent flake. One more down there, and then there's a couple over here that I'll be getting out. So not too bad. It's a pretty good one. Well, since we're up north, we don't have as much daylight. Beautiful out though, isn't it? Just gorgeous. So we're going to be losing daylight pretty soon. Um, so I think I'll do one last pan, and that'll be it. And I'll head home and uh, dry the gold out and <laughs> show you what I got. And there it is, flake of the day. So yeah, not bad. I wish I would have hit on that at the start of the day, but that's okay. It's a nice little flake. It's a keeper. I'll take it. That's a big turkeys. Happy Thanksgiving. <laughs> Some wild turkey. Wow, what a beautiful fall day. I'll tell you one thing, it's a gorgeous place no matter how much gold you find. Just beautiful. There's the Jeep. Time to head out. All right, guys, I'm back home from a day of panning and uh, just hanging out with my dog, Jack, here. And yeah, it was a, a great day. We didn't find too much. As you can see, I separated the gold from the black sand. Came out to, I don't know, maybe half a gram, if that. Nothing you're gonna get rich off of, but not a bad day for just a couple hours out there panning and enjoying nature. 
Um, it's a lot of fun, and if you live in Arizona, Lynx Creek is easily accessible. If you're visiting, it's definitely worth a visit to go out there. You can pan, or you can go take a uh, gold detector and see if you can find some gold nuggets. But either way, it's a lot of fun. I'll probably do a few more videos like this. If you like the video, hit the like button, hit the subscribe, and hit the bell for notifications. Till next time. Want to do the honors, Jack? Till next time. Wow.